What is going on guys? Moran here from Student Aesthetics. Today it is Sunday and it is one day after the Dreamfields Festival, which that vlog is definitely up by now and I highly recommend you guys check it out because I think it was pretty dope. But yeah, today's gonna be a pretty busy day. Um, I didn't drink alcohol last night, so that's why you know I could get up fairly early. I had about five hours of sleep tonight, but I had to get up, get working, and um, also I'm actually going to the gym pretty early today. First, I'm working right now, and um, then I'm about to hit up the gym in a little bit. So right now, I have already been up for a few hours, and so now I'm having my first coffee. And I'm, today, I'm gonna work out fasted again, which is gonna be in about two hours, but I'll probably have a pre-workout like before that workout. All right, so it's gonna be tough. But um, luckily I didn't drink alcohol. And after my workout I'm gonna go to the beach if the weather is still solid. And then tonight I actually have a barbecue, alright? So that's also the reason why I'm gonna train fasted. Because I wanna train a bit early. And I wanna save most of my calories and food intake for the night, alright? So that's the gameplay for today. We're gonna vlog again because we wanna keep the streak going. This is the third day right now. I'll vlog that sushi day on Friday. Then on Saturday, uh, the Dreamfields Festival. And then today again. So let's make it happen. <laughs> So a lot of people have been asking me about BCAs recently as well um, because you always see me sipping on this water jug during my workout and I always got BCAs in it, 15 grams. Um, so is it necessary and why do I use them? First of all, no, it's not necessary. Honestly, there is no supplement in this world that is necessary for muscle growth or fat loss. All right, they are not necessary at all. They contribute to the process, but they are not necessary. So as far as BCAs go, they are not a priority. They are not on the top of my list of recommended supplements, although they can be useful. In my case, I'm very deep into a cut. In that situation, I do recommend BCAs. And also, if you have the budget to afford them, all right? So if you are on a budget, then I do not recommend spending my money on BCAs, all right? I would save my money and spend it on foods, um, protein sources and things like that. And that's just me keeping it real here. They are definitely not necessary. So if you don't have the budget to afford them, um, don't go for it, all right? And also if you are not cutting body fat, so if you're trying to put on muscle mass, you have enough nutrients inside your body, don't buy BCAs. They're not necessary in that case. So only if you are cutting, especially if you're deep into a cut or have been cutting for prolonged periods of time, and if you have the budget to afford them. Hi guys, at the gym right now. Gonna hit a leg workout today. Um, so even though I went to a festival yesterday, obviously didn't have alcohol, so I can uh, pretty much hit a workout. It's not gonna be a problem. Gonna have my pre, because I am pretty tired, you know, it was pretty late tonight. And um, yeah, definitely gonna smash it. So as far as the leg workouts go, guys, I never really show you a lot of leg workouts. Um, most of you probably know that I had a knee surgery. So after the knee surgery, I pretty much started cutting and um, haven't really been able to make a lot of gains. Slowly improving, but um, obviously very slowly because I have a caloric deficit. So I hope that like after this week, I am gonna stop cutting and I'm finally gonna go back to maintenance calories. And um, I hope it's gonna be a good workout. My last couple of workouts, last couple of days have been solid. So um, let's go in the gym, let's smash it. All right, all right. So let me quickly take you through this leg workout today. Um, so what we do first is five minutes on the treadmill to get our legs warm and then we do the foam roller before we start our leg workout, all right? To get everything a little bit loose um, and to get ready for the leg workout mentally as well as physically. Um, so starting off with squats, obviously the king of leg exercises. I haven't done these for a while because of my knee surgery, but I'm slowly getting better at them and I can slowly do the movement again without a problem. But as you see, I'm not going very deep. Back in the days, I did really like ass to grass squatting, but right now, that's probably not the smartest idea because I had a meniscus surgery, right? The doc told me I should stay at like 90 degrees, so that's pretty much what I do, but um, I still feel very, very hard in my leg, so it is definitely working. So um, Stan is making crazy gains, as you can see here, and, um, and his squat is improving very, very hard as well. And I will make a video on Stan's transformation in the future as well, probably in summer, um, but he has made some insane gains ever since he started training with me and started pretty much applying those principles that we do. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit in this video as well. The volume of this leg workout may not seem like a lot and um, there are only four exercises, only two big compound lifts, but you gotta realize that we train legs twice a week, all right? So if you train a muscle twice a week, it is obviously not a smart idea to go in the gym and do like a full leg day, like a lot of people always claim, the hardcore leg days where you use six to seven exercise for legs completely destroy them not being able to walk anymore and I'm um, go home tired and some people even left puking and that is not what we're trying to accomplish we're trying to make our muscles grow and that happens through a progressive overload getting stronger in the gym all right so that is what we focus on and by keeping the volume fairly low we can recover from every single workout and 
pretty much give it our all at every single workout and every single set we do. So then we go and go very heavy twice a week on the squat as well as on the stiff legged deadlifts or regular deadlifts. And then we throw in just a little bit of isolation work. But to be honest, you could do only just these two exercises in your routine two or three times a week and make insane gains, all right? Those are really parts of my principles and a lot of people are gonna say, oh, you're not hardcore, you're not destroying your muscles in the gym, but that really is not an effective way if you train without steroids and um, it seems like people just don't wanna believe it because they look up to all their role models and most of them are very naive and they don't believe their role models are on steroids, but let me tell you something, in this industry, there are not many people that are natural, I can tell you that for sure. And I have been training natural for literally years. And you know, I found out that this just works so much better. And I'm not just talking about leg development, but every single body part. And legs is just another body part that we apply it to because we do at every single body part, twice a week, lower ish volume, and just going very, very heavy on certain days. And then including some hypertrophy work as well as isolation work. And um, I hope my legs are gonna grow after this cut and after I start going back to maintenance calories, but I'm damn sure they will. And you guys will join me in the process and see that happen. Happen. Right, right. So it's a couple hours later, one hour, one and a half hours after my workout. I'm here with Robin. what's your name, Robin? <laughs> so um, we're just chilling here on the beach, guys. This is my city. It's pretty damn beautiful, as you can see. And I'm um, like right now, I'm having my first meal after the workout, which is basically um, some chicken and veggies. She got a fruit salad, <laughs> which we are sharing. We're not sharing the chicken though. <laughs> and um, got some snack jacks, some extra carbs. And then tonight I got a barbecue, so that will be the second meal. Sun is out, good vibes. Chilling, chilling hard. So also got, so also got some um, blueberries. And this is what I'm sipping on, crystal clear. All right, so again, it's a couple hours later. Actually about to go to the barbecue right now. And I wanted to take you guys with me, but the battery is actually dying. I hope I can end the video, but I actually have to leave right now so I can't charge it anyway. Um, like I said, I saved a lot of calories for this barbecue so that I can kind of observe. Um, so that I don't overeat, right? If I undereat, that's no problem because I come home and then I have a meal before I go to bed. And that way I will always have some room to play with. So I didn't have any fats today, all right? Because I had that chicken, snack and jacks and all that kind of stuff, like no fat. So I can pretty much eat some fatty meats and shit like that um, or lean meats, it doesn't matter. But then I can eat fat when I get home. So it's gonna be completely fine because I can combine fitness with all the aspects in my life that a student has, right? All the social activities, going out, partying, all that kind of stuff. Um, not being able to always track your food intake. Just by doing these simple things, like um, eating a little bit less fats here and there, eating a little bit less calories, saving a lot of calories for later on the day, you can enjoy your life and still get shredded. You know, I'm the example of it, and a lot of clients of mine are, a lot of people of you that are watching my videos are getting great results. So um, I think this is awesome. This is the movement that we should support, right? You need to enjoy your life while getting in shape. So that is the message for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video down below. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you guys for watching as always, and peace out. See you in the next video.